Hey guys, Pavel Barra here, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most promising talents coming out of Canada, Connor Bedard. Before we jump into this video, I want to thank Wagon Hockey for the footage we're about to see. If you're not familiar with Wagon Hockey, they are producing some unreal content, taking a look at the best young talent from around the world. Be sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel if you want to see some of their awesome content. I'll leave links down in the description where you can follow them. But for now, let's take a closer look at why 14-year-old Connor Bedard earned exceptional status for the WHL. So a little background on Bedard, he's a forward for the West Vancouver Academy U18 team and his exceptional status allows him to be eligible to play all of next season in the WHL as a 15 year old. Before Bedard there were just 6 to receive exceptional status in the WHL's history. Uh, he is the first to actually play in the WHL, however, on this elite list we have John Tavares, Aaron Ekblad, Connor McDavid, Sean Day. Uh, Joseph Valino, and most recently Shane Wright in 2015, all of whom opted to play in the OHL except for Valino who ended up playing in the queue. So if you're keeping tabs on Bedard, his NHL draft year will be in 2023 and the Regina Pats have selected him with their first overall pick. Bedard is 5'8 and comes in at 165 pounds, which is hilarious because that is exactly how tall I am and how much I weigh. But the only difference is that he's 14 years old and he has a promising future and I'm 30 and I'm washed up. However, don't make fun of me. I feel pretty good about my height and weight at the moment. Bedard, who turns 15 on July 17th, led his school league with 84 points in 36 games with 43 goals and 41 apples. I had the privilege of seeing him in person as he was invited to the skates I ran this summer for Titan Sports Group, uh, which is a player agency. He was the youngest there, but you wouldn't know it the way he played. Uh, we had NHLer Brandon Dillon out, uh, as well as some of the best young prospects from around the world. At the end of the session, we ran a three-on-three -three where he was scoring from obscene angles, catching everyone off guard. I swear to God, he had three goals in like 10 minutes of play. It was pretty amazing to watch, and you couldn't help but be amazed by his skill level. We ended that session with an elimination shootout competition where I ended up winning, so I can say that I beat Bedard at something, and I will take that to my grave and feel very, very good about it as he starts his NHL career very soon. Now for those who watch Bedard a lot, you'd probably be first drawn to his shot. The way he releases it is very special. He finds ways to shoot through defenders, whether it's finding a hole or changing the angle. The power behind the shot is incredible, but the quickness and deception of the release is what causes goalies and defenders to be a step behind. Then of course there's his obvious puck carrying abilities. You see him scan the ice evaluating his options and see where his space is. If there is not space he does a great job of making a fake and opening up a better room for himself. He has a great foundation beneath him in terms of his edge work and puck carrying abilities. He's constantly keeping the puck in a functional position around his body, maximizing options, allowing him to gain top speed without sacrificing options or control. He picks up his feet very well also with those explosive first couple steps. He's definitely a big asset on the power play as he can easily quarterback it with confidence as the last man back and he's very good at working along the half wall as well. He's also got a great one-timer so as long as players are able to find him he's got that option locked and loaded. His stick handling abilities allow him to get into and out of small areas quickly. You'll often see him go through a stick before quickly pulling it out for a quick release shot. He's definitely not afraid of taking on defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations, which is such a positive thing to see as a scout in hockey. So much of the game is comprised of one-on-one -on -one battles, whether that's in corners, along the boards, or at top speed versus a defenseman. You have to be confident to take them on if you're going to be a top six guy for your club. 
He has the soft touches for the small area work, but what makes him so effective is his anticipation of what the defender is going to do before he enters his move. He's already considering the movement and where the space will open up so that he can easily stay one step ahead of the defender. Such a key aspect of 1v1 success is not second guessing your fakes, which he does very well. Now obviously he is a very high skill player, but he's not shy with the physical stuff as well and he's not very easy to bump off the puck. He holds his ground very confidently with his back turned to the defenseman with that wide low stance and he's constantly taking those shoulder checks to see where the pressure is coming from and time when he should be cutting back, which seems like such a simple thing in theory. But being able to cause that much separation as the competition gets higher and higher is one of the greatest attributes you can have as the puck carrier. Just watch guys like Crosby be able to cut on a dime and clear up that much space for themselves. I mean, it's such a valuable asset to a team when you talk about puck possession and being able to generate so many quality scoring opportunities. All around his skating abilities are top notch from his explosiveness to the smoothness and speed of his stride and how he is constantly positioned to change direction as he approaches defenders. We see him find that outside edge very well as his body gets onto that angle on the crossover which is what allows him to pick up and move the feet quickly and build off of each crossover. Aside from his physical attributes, Bedard is an absolute competitor. He wants a result every time he has an opportunity and that drive and work ethic is what allows him to build on the skill he already has. Simply put, if you're a skilled player but you don't work hard, your skill isn't going to get very far. Bedard does not rest on his skill alone and as a coach and as a teammate, you love to see that and it can be such a motivating factor, especially when he finds himself in a leadership role, which he inevitably will down the road. And Bedard will be turning heads for many years to come. Definitely remember the name, and if you're a young player watching this, try and look at the little things he does so well. Make sure you guys do not just look at plays that end up in goals to learn from. It's not just the highlight reel plays uh, and the plays that get results in terms of goals that matter. So much of what makes players like Bedard great and allow him to put up such big numbers are their ability to constantly be getting quality chances and those are the plays we really want to learn from. Anything that allows you to afford yourself time and space to make a play, you should be really studying so you can learn from it. Once again, want to give a huge shout out to WEG and Hockey. This video would not be possible without them and they work tirelessly to get footage of these elite up and coming players. So be sure to subscribe to them and hopefully one day you're going to find yourself on their YouTube channel as well. But I definitely love subscribing to them because I love watching uh, the next up and coming players before they become superstars. And that, that's what their channel is all about. Until then, keep working hard guys and keep enjoying the game.